Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. I have my Ipsy Glam Bag X to unbox with you guys. I don't have a review for everything that I tried in the last month's box because I was down for the count for a little while with my surgery. So we're just gonna unbox this and see what's inside of here. I am very excited. I don't know if this one is collaborated with somebody or not. I can't remember. I. <laughs> That's what you get when you uh, kind of go out of the loop for a little bit. So let's see what's in here. I do like the color of the purple box. Kind of matches my purple shirt here I'm wearing because you guys know I love Gilmore Girls. So let's see what's in here. It is, I think it is in collaboration with somebody. It's in collaboration with Halsey. Curated by Halsey. It says choose your own adventure. So here is Halsey's little paper thing. Um, it looks like a, like a magazine, not a magazine, but a, a newspaper. So it's like shaped kind of like a newspaper here. So it's like a baby newspaper. Oh my goodness. I've got lots of products in here. I'm very excited. So let's jump into it. See what we got. See what things were chosen for my box. So the first thing I see is from Define Me. This is the Kahana Aquamarine Crystal Infused Perfume Mist. <gasps> you had me in perfume. I love perfume. You guys know I am a huge perfume lover. So let's see where is this at so I can find out the information about this. Um, where is it at? Define Me Fragrance. It says crystal infused natural perfume mist in Kahana Aquamarine. This coconut pink pepper hibiscus orchid and aquamarine blend smells like a vacay in a bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the crystals in there. That is so pretty. Very simplistic labeling, but it's got crystals. Let's see what it smells like. Oh my gosh, please be amazing. Oh, it does smell like vacation in a bottle. You can smell the coconut, the vanilla. You can smell the floral in there a little bit too. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I am very excited about this. You guys know how much I absolutely love perfumes. So for me, that is a winner winner for sure. The next thing in here is from the new co. This is a barrier culture cleanser. It's to pre and pro. It has pre pro and post biotics. What the heck? It says it's a deep cleansing anti stripping skincare product. I don't know. Let me find out more about this. Okay. It says the one skincare step that Halsey never skips is a good cleanse at the end of the day. This two in one formula removes makeup and gently cleanses without stripping your skin thanks to a blend of prebiotics probiotics and postbiotics spend a little extra time on your skincare so this is 42 dollars. so i'm really excited about trying this out because i've never heard of this before it doesn't smell like anything which is amazing because you don't really want anything perfumey in your skincare so that's good the next thing in here is from glamnetic this is glamnetic times ipsy uh Press on nails. These are reusable press on, press on, you know, press on, reusable press on nails. Um, it says remove any previous applied nail, applied nails. Um, I wonder if you got to use glue. Yes. So you have to use glue with these. So you're just going to use a little bit of like nail glue and then they should work fine. Let's see what it says about these. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find it. I have no oils in my hand for so for some reason my well not for some reason because of that I can't turn the page. $21.99 for a lot for these nails. That seems pretty expensive. It says not only are these the realest looking press-ons we've ever seen, they're also the coolest. I don't I don't know. What do you guys think? Do they look super realistic? Probably because for me, I just don't love that shape of a nail. So maybe that's why for me, I'm like, I don't know if they look realistic to me, but okay, $21.99 is quite pricey. So they better be really good. Let's see. The next thing in here is from Herbivore. This is Herbivore Emerald. It's a hemp seed and adaptogen deep moisture glow oil. Mm. I've tried something from Herbivore, Herbivore before. It was the Blue Tansy. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And that's to help with redness and stuff like that. And it really did a good job, but it expired very quickly. So that was the only bad thing. This is $72. Oh, this has got Blue Tansy in it. Okay. I'm excited to have another Blue Tansy. It says, forget what you've heard. Using a face oil, especially this one from Herbivore, on your combo or oily skin is a total yes. The clarifying formula uses a blend of blue tansy, kakui oil, and jojoba oil to balance oil production and smooth redness without drying you out. 
Okay, so here's what the oil looks like. Oh, I love the color. It's not blue, it's like a turquoise color. Ooh, so pretty. Okay. I am very excited about that as well because like I said, blue tansy, I have, wait, that was lapis. I read the wrong one. That was lapis. I need emerald. Where's emerald? Okay, here, emerald. $48. It says a few drops of like warm hug for your skin. It calms, soothes, nourishes, and moisturizes, and even protects from environmental aggressors. You can thank the hemp seed oil and this rich fatty acid, vitamin E, squalene, turmeric root, ashwagandha, and those for other benefits. Okay. Not tried this one before, but the blue tansy one, that was the one I tried before. So I was kind of hoping to get another blue tansy because I do have redness from acne scars. The next thing is from Light Lock. This is a highlight fluid. Never seen this before, but the packaging is very cool. So let's see. About face. This is a, wait, there's, okay, here we go. Light Lock Highlight Fluid in Flight in fight or flight it's shaken or stirred and some struck so this one is straight beaming that one doesn't even say that on there <laughs> what i'm confused about straight faced oh wait no is that the color light lock this is light lock okay let's see what it looks like so that oh my gosh the packaging is absolutely phenomenal that is so beautiful look how pretty that is Let's see what this, okay, so it's got a top and then it's got a, a dropper. Okay, very fancy. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna put a little on the back of my hand here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's super, super glowy. Oh my gosh, that would look so pretty on your decollete though. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. On your shoulders, your decollete. I mean, even on your face, cause like, like I said, with me, with my dry skin, things like this that make your skin look glowy is really helpful. Cause you just don't look dry then. You don't look like the desert. So I can't get the top, there it is. Couldn't get it on. This is $32. So, so far this is looking like a very good box, especially for, I think this box is $55 or something like that, $50. The next thing is from Tarte. This is the Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. Ooh. Let's see what it says about this. Where is it at? Must be on the next page. Um, why is it not on here? Am I just like totally blind? I don't see. Oh, there it is. Uh, Tarte Clay Pot Waterproof Shadow Liner in Rose Gold. And this is $21. It says not only is this gel cream multitasker, use it as a liner or a shadow, but it's also waterproof. So there's the color, what the color looks like. It's really pretty. Let me swatch it. Okay, it's nice and uh, creamy. <laughs> kind of feels like a lip product. Probably shouldn't have swatched it on that hand. That hand's already glowy enough. Let's swatch it on this hand. Oh my gosh, that is super, super glowy. Super, super glowy. Okay, I am excited about that as well. As a liner though, it feels too gel-like to be a liner. It feels too, not gel-like, more creamy. I don't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it would be a good liner, but I'll try it. The next thing is this right here. This is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume and Lift Curl Mascara. Ooh, I have not tried this. I've tried quite a few things from the Fenty line, but not this. So I'm excited to see how this works. This is $24. It says whether you're performing on a stage, there's what the, line, the packaging, maybe I have tried this. This looks, no, I think the Anastasia packaging looks very similar to this, doesn't it? Or does it not? It says, whether you're performing on stage like Halsey or giving a presentation on Zoom, this mascara has got you covered. The innovation, innovative brush lifts, curls, defines, and separates for a dramatic look that won't smudge for, and smear for four, out, four hours. Not four hours. Four hours. <laughs> Let's see what the wand looks like. Oh, good. It's a nice small wand. I can appreciate that. No smell. <laughs> I'm always smelling my mascaras because you guys know my Clinique one that I love smells so good. And then we have one more product in here and it is from uh, Ather Beauty. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name to this. This is the Moonlight Crystal Palette. Let's see what it says. Ather Beauty, what do you get when you combine vegan ingredients, sustainable packaging, and crystal infused powders? This epic Halsey exclusive palette. Mix and match the shadows. You can wear. The, you can use them wet or dry. 
to create your perfect shimmery eye look. So head to the message of the moon and also harness its power. The moon lives in the darkest of the places yet lights a path of lights a path to bring clarity to mind, heart, and spirit. Okay, so there's the little card here. It's very pretty. And here's the packaging. Very interesting packaging. Looks kind of like prism-like and it has, it is raised. It is cardboard. It does have like a little plastic insert that has the names on it, but the names are not actually listed onto the packaging itself. So once you take that away, you have these colors are right here. Um, I don't love when they, when companies make the palettes where they like are shaped funny. I don't know why, but I just, I don't love it. Maybe I'm just weird, but I don't know. I'll try it out for sure. It's just, it's very interesting. This is $58 though. $58 is like the price of an hourglass palette and <laughs> close to the price of an hourglass palette and their palettes are very well made. This is just cardboard. So I'm not impressed by the packaging for that price, especially. So it's going to have to be some phenomenal shadows. So we'll see, but that's everything in my box. So I have an oil, I have a perfume, I have a face cleanser, I have nails, natural nails. I have the um, highlight. I have the palette. What else do we have here? We have the Tarte product. Is that it? Is that everything? I think that's it. Oh my gosh. There was so much in this box. All this for 50 bucks. I love when you get a good box full of stuff because it makes it just so much more fun. Because if you don't love one product out of the box, no big deal. You know, give it to somebody else. Because if you break down the pricing for it, you're still getting a fantastic deal. Because like we got, I don't know how many items are in here. I think it's like eight or something like that. There's two, four, six, seven. I think there might be eight in here. I think there's eight. So you divide that by 50 and that's the price you're paying per item. So it's a fantastic way to look at it in my opinion. If you're looking to kind of like build your collection, this is a good way to do it. If you already have a decent sized collection, this is a nice way to kind of like try different things out. So I do love getting subscription boxes, especially the Glenn Beck Pluses. So I think, or Glenn Beck X, I'm sorry. So this was really nice. So I think Halsey curated some cool products. Not everything I'm super excited about though. I'm gonna be honest, like these nails don't excite me much. They don't impress me much though. Yeah. So anyway, I would love to know what you guys think of this box. Do you think it was a good one? Do you think it's a bad one? I'm gonna try everything out and next month I will be so there's, wait, I have one more surgery, but it's not until the end of September. So hopefully I should be able to come back on here before the next surgery is scheduled. So I'll be able to tell you guys everything about it, hopefully. Anyway, that is it for this box. Let me know, do you get the Ipsy bags or boxes? Let me know which ones do you get and do you love it? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.